idea what's right is for the rats. The one that stabbed their main dudes in the backs. I wonder how you even live life after that rats. How you sleep at night, how you convince yourself. And, and Silo, be careful. Use your words carefully, you stumble bum, because I'm going to get to you. The agnostic who's so full of shit, it's ridiculous. Silo, watch your step, Silo. Agnostic, you sit there and talk like you're the toughest guy in the world. Buddy, I'll tell you what, we'll fight like two men. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. <laughs> Today, we're going to take a look at Silo vs. Agnostic, the movie. All right, we're going to try and get to the bottom of who's telling the truth, who's lying. Are they both lying? Are they both just confused? But I'm just going to put a couple clips out here and let you guys decide. So leave me a comment and tell me who you think's lying. I'm going to tell you straight out from the beginning, I'm definitely biased. And that's only because I don't know either one of these guys. But I judge each, each of them by their actions on here. And Sio got caught in a million lies already. And he just, the way he acts is just crazy. He reacts to every little comment. He wants to go looking for people. <laughs> it's just nuts. I haven't seen Agnostic act like that, and I base everyone by their actions. So, yes, I'm definitely biased. I don't believe Silo's lies. So I took a couple parts from each of the shows, and I'm going to do a little back and forth and give each guy a chance to explain himself. So just sit back and try and keep up. And let's get right into this here. Lee went on there and said, wow, you just spanked that agnostic. You spanked him. I was fucking my ass off. Spanked who? Spanked what? Now, what I will So, like, what, so was, listen, what was Trambo trying to say you were lying about? What happened was he did this hit piece and, and said uh, that I was full of shit. I didn't know the Apetisanos. Apetisanos are a family in Queens, a good family. Panisi okay. tried to muddy them. This asshole tries to muddy them. I happen to know them. But he's basically saying that he knows these people and you don't. Yes, absolutely. That okay. I lied. Um, then he's putting he's putting up uh, silly uh, videos, right? Wait, wait, which he shouldn't have done because he's just going to prove what a con man he is. Okay, now that you have an idea of what's going on, we're going to start the video from Silo Show. Silo rises from the grave when he said he was going to respond to the funeral, but he didn't respond to the funeral. He responded to agnostic. So now we're going to continue and we're going to pull up. So I'm going to exploit him on everyone. He's completely full of crap. And I'm not cursing tonight. Because I'm going to break this man down like the bum he is living in a shack without a car. All right. Tell me how having a car or living in a shack is relevant to this conversation. But see, it's just the odd behavior of Silo. He acts like a little girl. He has to throw his little digs in and put people's personal information out there. So right now what we're going to do is show you the original conversation and how much Mr. Agnostic was kissing ass. Yeah, he found me out during it. And the man he says he met, he's full of shit. You can't get near him. So let's watch this video, and I'm going to break it down piece by piece. <laughs> All right, Silo, run it. <laughs> so, Tony, there thank you, because like I said, if you asked me the name of that car wash five minutes ago, I couldn't tell you if you paid me. Until you said yeah, it, I couldn't, I couldn't even think of it. Too. Yeah, I, I go over there all the time. I was actually over there yesterday. A, a guy I ran with owned a couple straight downs from Zambuti. Uh But he used to have dump trailers in there. I don't know, but I had a tire shop in there with Peter's brother Maurizio for a while. The truck tires and stuff. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say it, but yeah, that's that's my man. That's that's the Maurizio's well, a good guy, man. Okay, scene one. Mauricio enters the conversation. Uh I I missed that kid. I lost touch. I was I was in touch with him. I had him in my old phone. I lost the phone, and I, you know, it's one of those things. When I go back there, I'm going to go to his house, and I was with him I just, yesterday. I always he lives. Okay, so far seems like everyone in the sandbox is playing nice with each other. <laughs> I don't know Agnostic, and I don't know Silo. All I know is that I haven't heard Agnostic lie. He hasn't been caught in any lies, and Silo's been caught in multiple lies. So I base everyone on their track record. So I guess I'm biased in this. It sounds like they both know the same guy. So it's up to everyone to make their own mind up and decide what the truth is. Because we're going to hear both guys say two different stories of what these people said. <laughs> All right? So remember, 
Just make your own judgment at the end. And don't forget, group thought is bad. Don't just jump into the flock with the rest of the sheep. <laughs> as far as Mauricio, he's doing well, man. I'm glad to hear that. He's doing okay. You know, he, he's the hardest work at it. He works every day. You know? Yeah. And just please, yeah. Tony, see to it that, that Mauricio do gets my number. You got it, buddy. I'm actually going to see him next week. All right. Now let's get Silo's uh, take on the events that followed. Let's hear what he has to say. Okay, so what happened here is we exchanged numbers. The first conversation was kind of pleasant. I felt them out on the phone a little bit. And in the same week, I gave Maurizio the number. Maurizio threw it down on the floor and spit at it. And that's no lie. I swear on my... He beat him on a job. But I'm not going to get that far into it. Okay, so far, from what I take, Silo's saying that he knows the guy Maurizio. He went and spoke to the guy Maurizio. He gave him Agnostic's phone number and he threw Agnostic's phone number on the floor and spit on it. That's his side of the story. So now let's hear Agnostic's side of the story. Little side note. Okay, Silo said he gave the guy Mauricio Agnostic's phone number. The guy Mauricio threw it on the floor and spit on it. Now, it's a little odd to me because I can't tell you the last time I had to write a phone number down. Since I had a cell phone, I never had the need to write anyone's number down. If someone wants me to pass a phone number along, I take my cell phone out, put the number in, when I run into a, the person they want me to give the number to, I pass it along, and they do the same thing. They take out their cell phone and put the phone number in their cell phone. So I don't know. It's just a little odd to me. Hey, it's just me. From the way this guy Silo got caught in so many lies, everything's a red flag for me. All right, we heard Silo's side. Now let's hear Agnostic's side. <laughs> oh, Maurizio. I never knew Maurizio, right? Well, I've been on the phone on and off and texting with Maurizio since Wednesday morning, Okay. Another lie. Nick, Did he know him? You ready? So yeah. Billy O met him one time. One time. <laughs> Number one lie. Right? I asked Maurizio. I told him what was going on with this YouTube shit. And I asked Maurizio, can I go on the truth? Silo, watch your step, Silo. Maurizio told me. I keep, I almost keep slipping and saying my name. And he said, yeah, brother, go on, there and, go on there and tear him up. Okay? Maurizio said stop using his name and his family's name. You never hung out with Peter. You're a liar. Okay, so there's both sides of the Maurizio story. Silo says he went to the guy Maurizio, gave him Agnostic's phone number. The guy Maurizio threw it down and spit on it. Now you have Agnostic's side where he says that the guy Maurizio said he only met Silo one time. So now you got to use your own judgment and decide who you believe because somebody's obviously not telling the truth. But there's both sides of the Maurizio story. <laughs> now let's check in on MRE and get his opinion. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> wow, what balls oh. on this guy. And oh, like yeah, anybody, yeah. how could you take, and here's my point is, how can any, all right, we don't know agnostic. I don't know this guy, right? But he's been around for a while and I believe him over Transbo because here's why. Transbo has nothing but lied and these people all conceded that he has what? lied. So how can you believe this? I agree 100% with that statement right there. I feel the same exact way. One lie is too many, and Silo has been caught in multiple lies. Just the way he acts. Everything bothers him. Every little comment bothers him. The guy has very odd behavior on here. Secret, secret man behind the scenes, all kinds of stuff. There's too much to list. All right, scene two, Tommy Large. <laughs> I'm sure you, I doubt you hung out with him, but I'm sure you met him. Vinny? Yes, I know him. Yeah, I know I, all them guys. Not yeah, Tommy. I know, I, know, I know. I know all those guys. Good dude. I, Tony. I actually got a lot of trouble with Tommy. Oh sure, I know all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember that. Yeah, Tommy was a character. <laughs> All right. I understand this is the mob genre, or it's supposed to be the mob genre, but I don't understand the whole fascination with knowing people. It just blows my mind. It's not really a big deal if you grew up in those neighborhoods, so they're just people. I don't understand what the fascination is. Tommy was a character. <laughs> uh, you were you telling me. Me and him were out drinking one night, all night. So that a bad move. It was, <laughs> yeah, but it was snowing. It was snowing, and we walked into my house at about 6.45 in the morning, and I never did that. Only with Tommy, that guy got me more <laughs> freaking truck. And my ex-wife was going to kill us. And he's like, no, nah, I'll drive the kids to school. Couldn't even walk. We're going to drive the kids to school. Throw us yeah, out the Tommy. door. She, she legitimately wanted to throw us out the door. 
All right. From the way they're talking to each other, it really does sound like they both know the same people, right? But I'll say one thing. If either one of them are caught lying, then they should be ridiculed to no end. And they should be ridiculed for stalking because how could you know this much about someone that you don't really know? You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Uh, he was working with Maurizio for a while. Yes, for and years. And Tom, Tommy got Tommy got sick, you know, right? From the um, yeah. World Trade Center bullshit. Yep, me, so me he, and him both. He, he's out. Uh, oh, you did? Okay, yeah. So he, he yeah. I seen him two weeks ago on Francis Lewis Boulevard. He's another yeah, He's guy living out in the island. Yeah. yeah. He was a big biker. He's another he was guy. a biker, too. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. we hung out a Tommy didn't get along with a lot of people, but if he liked it, he was a classic. No, no, he was a funny fucking guy, and he didn't even try and beat up. Oh. I mean, if you knew dude. Tommy, me and Tommy hung out a lot. Oh. Okay, so let's hear what Silo has to say about this conversation, and then we'll get Agnostic's view. Guess what I did today? I spoke to Tommy Lodge. But, oh, I forgot. I had to get him out of the grave. He's dead. He ain't dead at all, buddy. He's going through some health issues, but nowhere near death. Okay, anytime Agnostic wants to come on, Tommy Large, who he said is dead, is willing to come on. Okay? Hey, he is now 64 years old. He is retired. 65 years old, excuse me. I don't want to get called a liar. Well, it's a little too late for that, don't you think? We caught you in so many lies. I mean, really. That I don't even understand how your cheerleaders still defend you. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> Let's go back and check on Agnostic and see what he has to say about this situation. He said in the video, right? I'll get Tommy Lodge and bring him on video to tell everybody about this guy. That's what he said. Go watch the video. Okay. So, so Silo, listen up carefully. If you bring Maurizio and Tommy on, think of how fucking stupid I would look. Think of that, Silo. That would be great. Tommy Lodge would come on and say, I'm Tommy. I'm right here. This guy's full of shit. Wouldn't that be great, Silo? That would be a good move because that's what you said you could do. So bring Tommy on, you moron. Oh, and while you're at it, go try to convince Maurizio to say a bad word about me, okay? All right, now you heard both sides of it, but that challenge right there sounds like it would solve all their problems. So, <laughs> well, so I will accept the challenge and bring the guy on. <laughs> okay, so that was scene two, Tommy <laughs> and all those guys. <laughs> all right, let's check back in on MRE and get his take. He was supposed to happen. So how can anybody take that guy's word over this guy's? The other guy is okay. a proven liar. Exactly. If you're going to measure people by their track records on here, then <laughs> Silo got caught in a lot of lies. All right, so we cover Maurizio and Tommy today. And I put the facts out that they gave us. You people out there got to make up your own mind. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. So now let's get into some bonus clips here. <laughs> I have a slight answer on that whole thing. He, he is a boxing fan. Okay. He pro and, and this wasn't clear, but from what I was told, he probably got in like fan clubs and he did used to go to fights. That was true. All right. So he's a boxing right. fan, boy, like I said. Never, and, I, and I was talking to guys that know him fucking for, for 30 years. Really? Right. They knew him for 30 years? <laughs> I love it. And Mario was thinking the same thing as I was thinking when he heard somebody knew Silo for 30 years. <laughs> Got a lot of questions for those people. <laughs> All right, now we have a couple very odd clips and a couple funny clips. All on Silo's behavior. I think you should judge people on the way they act. Listen to this little clip. Hit that. We're having a problem with the sound and technology. So let me get back to agnostic. Bye -bye. Steer right, you're out. <laughs> I think right there he was trying to say he had Zio's real voice, <laughs> but I guess not. <laughs> By the way, when I offered to meet him halfway for lunch, he couldn't because he was still trying to screw somebody out of money to get his car running. Okay, and he put me on his phone with his son to talk to his son because his son liked me so much. I never met his son, and no disrespect to a child. I'm just saying, he put, he put me on the phone with a kid. End of story there. So let's go. All right, check it out. Even if Agnostic put his kid on the phone, 
Why would Silo bring that up? It makes no sense. It just makes no sense whatsoever. Why would you bring that up? Agnostic, you sit there and talk like you're the toughest guy in the world. Buddy, I'll tell you what. I'm not doing this for free anymore. Put the money up. Tell me what you could afford, and we'll fight like two men. Wow, <laughs> tough guy. Listen, life's too short for this shit. If words on YouTube bother you, then you shouldn't be on YouTube. It's that simple. <laughs> This is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? Agnostic, you have answers to everybody. Oh, I'll break him down. I'll do this. You're all bitching about that I said something in John Panisi's chat. Number one, I wasn't in John Panisi's all the time. I was in there twice. I already told a friend of mine. Okay? That's besides the point. <laughs> Can someone please leave me a comment and explain what he means by that? It's just one of the many vague, crazy statements Tony Silo makes. <laughs> I never understand what he's talking about. I was giving a funeral <laughs> yesterday. Well, guess what? I guess I rose from the grave. All right, he says he rose from the grave. He did not address one point. One of his lies were not addressed. Not one single lie that was brought up at his funeral. So I don't know how he rose from the dead. Maybe all the sheep out there. <laughs> no. I don't understand where these guys are just coming up and believing bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit with this guy. He's in Mikey Scar's chat all the time. I've caught his name in multiple other chats all the time of rats. Okay. And how did you catch him in rats chats? <laughs> I guess you had to be there as well. <laughs> so I'm about done with listening to Agnostic. Agnostic is living up in the middle of the woods, raising his child upstate New York. I'm not going to give his address. I know his name. I know where he lives. I don't dox people. Okay, but the bottom line is he's full of shit. See, this is the shit that this guy does that I just can't stand. He does the dry snitch shit. Like, why would you even say that you had the guy's information? But why would you even bring it up? Like, so you make it sound like you have something to hold over somebody's head all the time. I mean, that's just the crazy shit this guy does. Then he mentions Villaggio where they had the trucks parked. He's right. They did park trucks back there. But guess what? Anybody who knew... If you wanted to rent a truck spot, you could put it there. That's where it was put. So. <laughs> See what I mean? This guy says crazy off the wall shit. And then people wonder why we troll his ass. I mean, really. What does that mean? Tell me. Anybody who knew, then they could rent a truck and they could get a truck back there. It was put back there. What the fuck does that mean? Somebody please explain that to me in the comments. Please help me out a little bit. All right, but he knows all about Mikey Scars, Jimmy Calandra. Well, how does he know about all these guys? Put the numbers together. Like people say to me, put the numbers together. Well, Jimmy Calandra was a kid when he went away. And I don't watch Jimmy Calandra. And I don't watch Jimmy Calandra. But I'm going by their ages. If he's that age and Jimmy flipped at that age, how does he know so much about Jimmy Calandra? Unless you're watching TV shows. All right. All you got to do is go to my boy Redzilla's channel and watch this video right here. And you'll see who watches Jimmy Colander and who doesn't. All right, there you have it. Part one of Transbo vs. Agnostic, the movie. <laughs> so we got to cover Maurizio and Tommy today. <laughs> All right, let me know if you want part two. I'll put some more parts together. Have a great day. I'll talk to everyone later. Thank you. <laughs>